This is my home computer. It cost me around $1,000 to build, but this, a component I bought for $212 in 2019, is now selling for as much as five times that price on eBay. That's because of a global semiconductor shortage, a supply chain problem that means car dealerships can't get new cars for their lots, and new graphics cards and video game consoles are reselling for much more than their retail price online. You know, I think this really is unprecedented, and I, I do think, you know, that there's sort of a perfect confluence of factors in terms of just rising demand. The pandemic kicked the shortage into high gear with huge demand for consumer electronics, but factors underneath it were in place for years. Most semiconductors are made by a small number of companies, most of which manufacture in Asia, and most of which were already running factories 24 hours a day before COVID hit. When companies, um, you know, who are making those devices really need those chips for their products, and that ranges from automakers um, all the way to mobile phones, they actually have to place those orders well in advance, right? So the, the order could be six months in terms of lead time from when the order is, is placed when that sort of chip is received. For ordinary Canadians, this means either paying a scalper's price for sought after computer components or camping out overnight. All oh, the cost difference getting them from here, it's just worth it to wait overnight rather than buying them online. You could save $1,500, $3,000. When Best Buy announced it would be getting a limited supply of the 30 series NVIDIA graphics cards, lineups at this Ottawa store started at 8.30 the night before. Uh, I'm here for my little cousin. He needs it for gaming. He's trying to build his own PC. So, uh, closest Best Buy that has it right now, so I came out for him today. While some plan to use the cards in their own computers, others say they'll sell them for a quick profit. Usually I buy my cards off scalpers so I can do mining, but uh, now I'm like, you know, I'll try, see what's the experience of, you know, the scalper life, if you can say that. Recent reports say the shortage could continue into 2023, but Canadian industry isn't waiting. We do not have domestic manufacturing of chips here in Canada. So we need to think about where we can play because this is a seven trillion dollar global market. The Semiconductor Council is a group of business and industry leaders hoping to make Canada a player in the global chip market. There's a lot working against us. Asian manufacturers have decades of experience and government investment, but Canada has a key advantage. If we can own maybe skills and talent or research and development here in Canada, things that we are world renowned for in terms of our amazing academic institutions, that's gonna give us sort of that, that uh, competitive advantage at the beginning of the supply chain, then to be able to negotiate and have leverage to make sure that we have the supply that might be being manufactured overseas. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.